Could it be that Gary Gensler has actually violated his own beloved securities laws? Is it true? The tables have turned, and thanks to some uh, video sleuths, uh, we found an interview of Gary Gensler promoting a coin that he just days ago has deemed to have violated securities laws in the form of an ICO. What are we talking about today? That's what we're going to get into. My name is Heidi, this is Crypto Tips. If you don't know what Toby and I are doing and have done to further remove ourselves as much as possible from the war path that is coming from the SEC, furthermore, from any kind of questionable and fearful regulations coming out of the US, if you want to know what we're doing with our cryptocurrencies and why, got to check out a link to the CT Club. A link for that is down below in the video description. If you've been watching these videos and you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe. If you enjoy these videos and you haven't done so yet, hit like. It puts a smile on my face. OK, you know what else puts a smile on my face is when people who are on such a high horse, they forget that they can actually be hypocritical. And this is what's happening with Gary Gensler. Here's a short history of Gary Gensler's very brief recent history. 2019 in April 2019, Gary Gensler was an MIT professor uh, giving a speech about cryptocurrencies and the innovation of blockchain technology and being you know, very optimistic about Hal Finney and the cypherpunks saying all the right things that makes me think, oh, what happened to Gary? He could have been such a cool advocate for crypto. But don't you know what? Two years later, he was hired on by the SEC to be the commissioner, thanks to Biden. And now we have a monster on our hands. Uh, but getting back to this speech again in April 2019, one of the specific uh, cryptocurrencies that he mentioned that he was optimistic about was Algorand saying, in fact, that this blockchain has the chance to host uh, applications like Uber on its blockchain. So saying a lot of bullish things and a lot of things that would make people to believe that the price of this cryptocurrency would appreciate in the future, I believe that's one of the, the cornerstones of uh, labeling a coin a security, Gary. Did you know? Uh, anyway, um, another person who was an MIT professor and a colleague of Gary at the time, and also an award winner of the Turing Award and a co-creator of the Zero Knowledge Proofs. If you guys are familiar with ZK Sinks, ZK Snarks, uh, it's a privacy protocol. And it'll help you know, relieve some congestion that happens on blockchains. Ethereum is definitely looking all into ZK Snarks and that whole thing. But Silvio Micali, he was the creator of Algorand, he was in the, in the, he's a colleague at MIT of Gary Gensler, a personal friend of Gary Gensler. Two days ago, Gary Gensler labels, he, he basically is suing now Bittrex for offering unsecured, unregistered securities in the form of Dash, OMG, Algorand, and a couple others. Uh, but Algorand specifically is interesting because of his previous optimism about this cryptocurrency. But what is even more poignant and uh, a, a, a fact brought up by Adam Cochran on Twitter, if you guys are not following him, he's a decent guy to, to get some insights on. He points out this fact that he was unable to be compliant with the SEC. He is an MIT professor. He has the Turing Award and he has co-created ZK Zero Knowledge Proofs. OK, this guy is not an idiot. He is not copy and pasted code. He's not a scammer. He's not anonymous. He is he's created his cryptocurrency to be ISO 222 compliant. He is trying to be compliant and he probably has a personal line to Gary Gensler. And this guy could not be compliant with the SEC. If you guys aren't getting our point yet that the US is not open to innovation, they are directly threatened by cryptocurrencies and as this disruptive technology and all that it represents. Yes, Gary Gensler is definitely an excellent uh, vocal piece for what I think the central banks want the public to know, uh, that crypto is a scam, it's all scammy, we need government protection. I'm not going to get too much in the weeds here, but the point is, if Algorand isn't compliant, good luck any cryptocurrency that is trying to be founded in the US, serve US customers, have anything to do and fall under any umbrella of a regulator in the US, you guys are going to have an uphill battle if you can succeed. Furthermore, it's not just Algorand. XRP is in a lawsuit with the SEC. And Garlinghouse, 
has said in the pr in the past, if this court case goes bad, if they lose it, they're going to say they're not going to go out of business. They're just going to move out of the U.S. And also, we saw Binance had a completely restructured offer, Binance.us, which is basically just a padded sell just for U.S. customers to use a very limited subset of cryptocurrencies. Nexo is nexting out of the U.S. Also, Bittrex is uh, cutting all ties to the U.S. as well. Interesting now that the SEC is like trying to get one last lawsuit out of them as well. Coinbase most recently, uh, yesterday and today, is saying, you know, if push comes to shove, if we're not getting any regulatory clarity we're gonna we're gonna it's not out of the question for them to also move out of the US and Gary Ginsburg remember he's the head of the SEC he is saying there is enough clarity I don't have to offer anything else what we're doing is great uh, but Hester Pierce she's one of very vocal dissent saying what Gary Gensler is is, is pr promoting is actually increased centralization and extinction of innovation and encouragement of people expatriating so keep that in mind. Uh, maybe this, maybe Gary is going to push too hard, and we're going to see some kind of a blowback and, and some kind of a, a support of cryptocurrencies in the U.S. government. I am skeptical. In the short term, maybe that will be, but in the long term, you guys take the wools off your eyes. It is what it is in the U.S. right now. If your life, if you see any future of cryptocurrency and you want any future in cryptocurrency and you're a U.S. citizen, uh, you're going to have to take some, might have to take some drastic steps to preserve your autonomy, your privacy, your ability to even use it. I know this isn't necessarily the best news for you guys, but there was some optimism coming out of the most recent uh, House of Financial Services committee meeting where Gensler, Gary Gensler was kind of in the frying pan and getting roasted. Uh, so it seems like there are some people there who are wanting to change it up. They want to maybe replace Gary Gensler with a director of a board who ultimately reports to a board and the board is supposed to have the power and not just one person who's making these crazy decisions. We're looking for a shakeup in the US, whether it's regulations and the SEC, what have you. Uh, anyway, keep an eye out for tomorrow's video from Toby. It'll be very eye-opening, I think. In the meantime, hit like and subscribe. Bye, guys.